Yeah. Is the volume okay for you guys? Just yeah, let us know. Uh, we're all about making things audible for y'all, so. Yeah, if the, vo if the volume's still low, please tell us, please update us, so that we can get that sorted out. But we're gonna go into our first match. Um, Peach versus Peach versus Pyramithra. On paper, Peach would do really well in, in, the, in his uh, in her advantage state. However, neutral, you know how sword you can do against Gorby characters, especially when they're fast faller, they'll land on the ground before you even get the chance to land a ground. So. What do you think, Shaky? How do you think the match will go? Yeah, so knowing Meadow, he's just a top player, so, you know, he is the predicted outcome here. He is the, the expected outcome to win. Kami, you know, showing us what he's got. See if he's got a chance here. I do think that this is get a Gil free card. It's going to come in handy against some of these peach strings, unless Meadow is just absolutely just sticking to the bread and butter, the, the fast and furious, the, the rap and the fury, you know what I mean? Like yes. those frame tight combos. I don't know how um, Foresight will come in handy in this matchup. Obviously on stage, I can kind of anticipate it. However, off stage, let's say if Mithra air dodges, right? Or like fire air dodges. Um, I mean Mithra specifically. If Mithra air dodges, for instance, but then Peach um, throws the turnip at the right time, it will activate the Foresight. But then if you activate Foresight, you fast fall instead. You can never um, fall at a... Like, you can never neutral or dodge, essentially, the moment Farsa activates. Yeah, Kelvin, that's very true. That is a niche interaction, and we might see it play out here. We still have three stocks, you know, getting into this game already. Uh, ooh, that was kind of a... That is a very hard middle. Um, we'll be right there. If it worked for sure, it would have been on his favor. However, as it, as it did not land, um, he's now in a stock deficit. Though Meru is at 100%. Sure. Earlier, Kami did a good job of playing around the dot eyes, but can he play around the stitch face here? This is, oh my god, he's looking for the shield break! Oh, that he was at a, the right time. That was a crazy interaction right there. Okay. That was a stock costing, um, that could have cost the stock if he missed the tech right there. Kelly, did you see that? That was dot eyes, stitch face, dot eyes. Right was there. it? Oh my gosh. He's getting these crazy pulls. If you guys don't know, dot eyes is like the second strongest turn up, and it's like half as strong as the stitch face. Yeah. Not that good for peach combos, to be honest, if I'm going to be... You know, that is, that is a good thing to point out. You seem to be very knowledgeable about this matchup. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever play peach before? Was no. This, was this all a dream? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I was a peach main before. Like, in my, in my previous life. But I don't know. Could be, could be. Could we'll be. just never know until you die. So, getting into this with Uppy here. Manu trying to get back onto the stage, actually. Constantly putting down an uh, active hitbox with his bear. Uh, mixing up his timing with the flow cancel fastball. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. That's the soul eater right there. God damn. I really don't know where this match will go. Like, whenever I think it's oh, like, oh, someone's in the advantage state. Oh, never mind. They I are good players. I cannot believe Manu got schmixed by that. That's kind of a... I don't know. That's kind of a that's kind of a vibe check. Yeah, <laughs> he didn't tech. I think he wanted to air dodge and then tech on ground because there mm. is a tech that lets you do that where you air dodge in the air, but then the mo because the, you're still in um, active frame of air dodge, you will also land a tech on it on on ground. But I think he missed that, which is why he got hit by it. You know, that's probably what he was going for. And yeah, just good center stage pressure coming up from Meidu here. You like to see it. That's that roll is gonna get punished. Gonna hit it. It's looking kind of grim here for our hero Kami making it back though. Ooh, the 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 big the huge ledge grab. I mean, this game just made it a lot easier for many players by letting people grab the ledge a lot easily, which has not been the case for previous Smash games. That really saved Kami right there because. Had it been other any other Smash games, he would not have caught. But making making it back with a very good with a very good. Oh, Yo, these side Vs from Kami, they don't look clean, but they're working out. It's like the rusty razor. It'll give you a shave if you need it. And he's been in tight positions where he didn't have any other option. Hmm. Rusty, I like that reference. <laughs> that is exactly what it is. I had to think about that for a bit, and it absolutely makes sense. Yeah, look, here we go, another Rusty Razor. No, we're gonna be still in a terrible position. Let's see. Oh, Beautiful amazing. air dodge. 
Ah, uh, the turn up, the pressure, yeah, yeah, it's too much. That's the weakness of Pyra Mithra. Just the recovery is easily exploitable in that way. Yeah, what I was worrying about, um, the whole foresight thing, Kami really played around it by using down B instead, and I think that was amazing play from him. However, again, just, just switching, just by switching it, you're not really getting on stage. You have to do, like, something more than that. Oh, so I guess like what we're hearing through our headphones is the actual volume of this thing. So it is quite low for sure. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll get into that. That was that was a good match. That was a very evenly paced, uh, interesting kind of a slow burn, if you will. You know, yep. <laughs> it's like we're at the middle school dance, and it's time for the slow dance, right? It's the slow. It is the waltz. You know. Absolutely, it's the one, two, three. Turn up off the side. Let's nope. see if you make it back. We're getting into the that thing. Or we're getting into the Latin and the tango part. Absolutely. It's going to get faster and faster. Hey, pretty baby, do you want to dance? Do you want to take a chance on me? Come out here, get it stuck in my up tilt? Uh, you know, I, we got that we need we need our chats to get on board with this, you know? <laughs> we got to hype it up a bit more. I mean, okay. even if we don't hype it up, it's already a pr very good set so far. Oh, absolutely. It's like when you watch professional golf, the commentators, they aren't freaking out. Yeah. But it's still very good game time. For sure. Very tame commentary, in fact. But I, I love the golf commentary. I love the Very controlled. Peach walking up. Oh! Ledge here. The turnip pushed Mithra on, to s on stage, not off stage. Exciting. F smash coming out from Kami here. What's the ledge option? Okay. <laughs> Going for. Oh, he didn't have the ledge. Yeah, That's that it. is going to get hard punished. That's another stock down from uh, Kami Woods here. Again, you can also cause you can also think about the if he actually hit with the up beyond Peach. Peach would have absolutely just gotten knocked off stage. I mean, would have just gotten a star KO. So again, risk reward. <laughs> yeah. Yo, it looks like Nadu really knows how to punish this matchup right here. Like he's so good at punishing the off stage options for Kami and Nice. There we see the first flash away. Oh, that's Yo, <laughs> the Garden Sniper. Mary Mary, quite contrary. Tell me how your turnips grow. That was yeah, beautiful. Absolutely. How did he hit that? That's so good. Oh, but Kami answering back with the downer into double jump back air. Something that I did not expect will confirm that. Calvin, confirm I'm going to be something. real with you. Kami kind of looking like a voice answering machine where it will take the messages and then we relay them to you later, but it won't take the first stock. You know what I mean? Like gotcha. he, he comes back. I mean, he keeps things even, but he's not pulling away. He's not taking a sizable lead for himself. I think that's going to be the X factor here. The matter is just going to get that last stock first yeah. every time. He's on his last stock. He's on his last stock for this match, so we'll have to see how what he will do to you know keep things closer than this, because he's at a pretty big deficit. Not only stock, but also percentage deficit so far. So. Omero is really threatening with the empty hospital cancels. I'm about to turn about. What is he going to do? Oh, with the over recovery. But he didn't grab the Madu, ready, for it. He ready for it. Nice. Congratulations, Mary, for taking yeah, your win. Congratulations to both players. Yeah, and Kami for keep, like, you know, showing that he's like the game's not over until like you take the last dog. Like he was making a comeback, and he showed a lot of very interesting options, as in something that you won't. Unorthodox is the word I would use. However, it's very effective in certain scenarios because sometimes we just, sometimes um, people try to play it safe, but then because the safest option is naturally the ones that people most likely go for. Pro, top players are always ready for it. That's what makes them top players because they're always prepared for certain, to counter the, the options that you're most likely to choose. However, 